here I am walking into a 9.3 million rent penthouse suite in the heart of Hyde Park. The views from this place are incredible. You can see a rose bank, you can see some of the high rises as well as construction going on here. So it really is super cool and you do get that big city New York skyline feel. However, what New York doesn't have that we do are those incredible jacarandas blooming and you can see them from every angle in this home. So my name for all of our new viewers is Chad Riveros. This is the private property home shopper show and I got one thing to say to you all and that is welcome home. So 9.3 million rand, three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and the coolest views I think you can get anywhere in Gauteng really does edge out this penthouse apartment from anything else on the market. I think a lot of people think Santon, no chance, there's no way you're gonna find cooler views in Santon, but really the fact that Rosebank has so much flat land and the fact that there are very, very few tall buildings here really does give this apartment the edge. And I'm not even gonna mention the jacarandas. Wait until we show you what you get out on that balcony. But here we are, we've come from the entrance hall straight through to the dining room area. You can see there's quite a bit of space here for a penthouse apartment, specifically one at this price point. Got a six seater circular dining room table right here. Underneath this stunning bulkhead featured ceiling, there's another bulkhead featured ceiling moving off into the kitchen area. It's really nice, really spacious and very free flowing. I'll show you the doors leading out onto the balcony in a moment, but let's take a look at the furnishings of this apartment because it does come fully furnished at this price point. So behind me, we've got some stunning Chinese inspired doors. It really does invoke the feeling of even that Balinese house we've done previously. Love the cupboards, love the mirror effect, as well as the fact that you can put all of this in here, give you that extra storage, but yet hardly impact the space of this home. So coming into the kitchen, let's first talk design elements. Above me, a continuation of that bulkhead ceiling. And then right here, this really cool effect. You've got these Caesar stone countertops going in and underneath, even on the side here, and you're getting the light. I mean, you can see right through, really cool under counter storage. Above me, great for the central air conditioning. The controls are right over there. On the wall, really cool, really modern. We like that. Another cupboard here, all of the cupboards, beautiful gloss white. And then coming further on into the kitchen, is where the magic happens. Can you imagine yourself nighttime whipping up meals? You know that romantic skyline, all the light shining from uh, Bryanson and from Hyde Park. Really nice. We've got the Snake extractor fan, we've got the Snake gas oven. So no power cuts are ever going to affect you guys. We've got your back. And then further in, you'll see that we've got a double basin sink. So rarely do you find penthouse apartments that come with a double sink. We've got some frosted windows there, letting in all that natural light. Speaking about light, stunning under cupboard lighting throughout. Really gives this place an upmarket feel, and it is upmarket. But very rarely do you find upmarket with so many of your needs provided to you already. All your appliances are coming in with that fully furnished guarantee. We've got Smeg everything, Smeg microwave, Smeg fridge, Smeg toaster, two different Smeg dishwasher as well as a washing machine. And this washing machine, also a tumble dryer so all your needs are being taken care of but let's pull back into the main part of the kitchen and talk about what makes this kitchen so fantastic one i have to mention the lighting i'm such a huge fan of incredible lighting and right here with all this under counter lighting as well as those strategically placed windows all of them being frosted not only gives you privacy in here but lets in a lot of natural light and really does just bring that upmarket feel into a kitchen that already does have such high quality finishes i'm a really big fan of these countertops as well. They're, they're super cool. I haven't seen that pattern before on countertops. I like that they've introduced it. 
description, we've got to come to the standout feature of any penthouse apartment, and that is the outside area. Now, this outside area, obviously, incredibly decorated, and guys, you get this penthouse apartment with all of this. Above me, we're talking about lighting. Take a look at the ceiling, LED strips, love it. Looks so cool, love seeing this, and it is so rare that we do find it. So it's a shame I don't see more of it. Again, quite a lot of space over here. We've got a little counter. You can maybe have a breakfast, enjoy yourself with your friends, enjoy yourself with your family. And on my right-hand side, built against this Caesar stone backdrop, we've got this stainless steel, stunning gas burner. Obviously, the extractor above it. We've got these two LED lights here, making sure when you're grilling, you know, that's a South African favorite pastime. You've got all the lighting you could ever need. And then, guys, take a look at this view. Grows so bang. high up. It is really well metered in terms of the noise levels. They're not going to bother you, but you're right in the heart of Behind me, you can get a good feel just how stunning this balcony area is. But that is not all because we've got a lounge area to talk about. While we come through here, let me mention how all of this is tinted. You're not going to be bothered by the sunsets, although you're going to be able to enjoy them in all their beauty. Now, come on in and let's check out this lounge area. I'm going to close these off so you can again appreciate the tinting on all of this, making sure that not only is the sun not going to bother you, but neither is the noise. When those sliding doors are closed, the apartment gets completely and utterly silent. Love it. Again, another continuation of that bulkhead ceiling. And here we get to appreciate once more the incredible decoration that has gone into this apartment. There has been an interior designer and she has done a wonderful job. Now, let's talk about some of the stuff we see here. Obviously, continuation of those Chinese elements, uh, the Asian elements, really nice. Beautiful area rug, but so much space. We've got an L-shaped couch here that fits in very nicely. I love the pillar design. Really does add that feel of almost an industrialization here. We've got this huge wall-to-wall -wall window, and again, it does have all of the tinting required. You can see Santon right there, the tallest building in South Africa. We've been there before, the Leonardo, peeking up above the horizon. And this feature wall over here, I'm sure there are gonna be quite a few massive LED TVs mounted against it. But we've shown you all of the living areas. We've touched on the dining room area, this TV area, as well as the kitchen, which leaves us to the bedroom. So through this door right of here, and let me mention a couple of things. We've got some cupboard space over here in case you need extra storage, and the door that separates all the sleeping areas from the living room area. So if you do want that extra slice of privacy, this has got you. And now it's time to go through. And yeah, we are through this door in the living areas, or should I say the quieter, more reserved areas right here. What I'd like to touch on first is this office. It's got a built-in office between all of the bedrooms. Massive desk, as well as cupboards lining both sides. We've got a port in the desk right here so you can feed all your cables through to the plug sockets below. It's those small little touches that really do make a huge difference when it comes to the conveniency of living here, or at least that's what I feel. So I love that they've done that. Got a cool chair. If you're signing deals, guys, you've got to be doing it in a chair that makes you feel powerful. We like that. And then just behind me, we've got the guest bathroom. So let's take a look at this guest bathroom here. And then we're gonna go into the first bedroom just behind this door. So in the guest bathroom, you've got a toilet on the left-hand side. This is a hidden cistern, soft closed lid toilet. And then on the right-hand side, just opposite of that, you've got a freestanding circular sink on some Caesar stone with under counter storage just below it. So with the guest bathroom covered, let's walk into the first bedroom and let's see what this has to offer. One is cupboards lining this whole wall here, really nice. I love the feel of them. I think texture and touch is such a big part of comfortable living. And on my left-hand side, you've got a walk-in bathroom. So let's talk around this walk-in bathroom. And there's a couple of things I'd like to talk about. The first is just behind this frosting over here, you've got your toilet as well as a towel rack over there. Again, another one of those hidden system toilets, soft clothes, toilet seat. Guys, you know the luxury bathrooms we look at. But then in front of me, I've got again the circular freestanding basin the lovely Caesar stone, under counter storage, massive mirror. And then right behind this frosted glass door, we've got the rainfall shower head, and this is your shower. And I'm gonna show you why I say there's quite a cool little thing when we come through this side, because right over here is that frosted glass window that looks into the shower. I think this is such a cool design feature. We've seen it a couple of times before. I love it. I think it makes these places look so cool. Guys, in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is this just me? Is this just me that really likes these? But I do think it's cool. We've got an aircon right above the entryway there. Beautiful light right in the ceiling. And then quite a bit of space for your third bedroom in this penthouse apartment. And this bedroom does have a key feature, and that is your own balcony that leads off to the second bedroom. So opening this door, yeah. 
You can walk out to your balcony, enjoy those jacarandas, enjoy the views. We are 11 stories up, so it really does feel incredible. That does surmise this bedroom. So guys, let me open that door and let's go take a look at the next bedroom. So with the first bedroom done and dusted, let's walk through this office area, stunning mirror in front of me into the second bedroom of the three located upstairs and here we are. So again, this is very much the twin of the first bedroom. We've got that walk-in bathroom right over here. Shower hidden behind that beautiful frosted glass. Again, your freestanding sink, under counter storage, and then behind the next panel of frosted glass, you've got your toilet there. Very fancy toilet, everything closes softly and the cistern is hidden, giving you all that more space within that bathroom area. And here we are again, aircon over there, a full wall right over here, or cupboard space. I really like those cupboards and how they feel. My favorite frosted glass window over here. Now this bedroom again is flanked by these two really, really beautiful side tables, almost Gucci inspired. And then we've got mirrors above both ends with this stunning soft headboard right over here. Like I said, touch and feel, guys. It all depends how it feels, how nice it is. And then, like I mentioned, in the previous bedroom, this one also has its very own outside balcony. It links between the two bedrooms so you can quickly traverse. And it has got that stunning tint, making sure that the sun is never, ever going to bother you. Let's take a peek outside and show you guys what the view is going to look like. And here we are guys, the creme de la creme, the master suite, and this room is decorated impeccably. Take a look, this stunning bed again, the area rug behind me. As I mentioned, the interior designer did a impeccable job. We've got this feature wall in gray that looks stunning. These two side tables, all of this comes with it. And then right over here, all the mounting points you might need for another one of those incredible flat screens right against the wall. We've got cupboards flanking the middle wall. And then right there in the corner, we've got glass on glass windows, the tinting right there, giving you 180 degree views of the rest of Rosebank, all the way down to downtown Hard Park, as well as some of Greenside. Really does look absolutely incredible. But I'm sure a lot of you noticed, because you know how I love my showers. So right behind me and right behind this piece of frosted glass is your bathtub. Stunning, deep, wide, love bathtubs like that. We've got frosted glass right over there, bringing in a lot of natural light. But let's talk about this bathroom because it does come with two single vanities. As I mentioned, I love these circular freestanding vanities, more of that Caesar stone that matches throughout underneath under counter storage. And then this massive mirror right here, bulkhead ceiling above you, giving you all the down lighting you could ever need. And then very important, I love that they've included is right over here. You've got all this cupboard space. And then behind this is where you'll find tucked away your bathroom. And again, all the cherries on top guys, soft closed lid, hidden cistern. But here we are, my favorite, the shower, the rainfall shower, opening this door, huge shower and then a floor to ceiling window, frosted glass. I'd be tempted to maybe peel off that frosting and then you get a view while showering. Although the caveat to that is you're probably going to be giving all of Rosebank a view as well. But guys, how cool is this master suite? I think they've done so well here. Really does feel spacious specifically for a penthouse and it feels really, really upmarket. But that does come to the end of this stunning tour right here in Rosebank. So what we're gonna do is let's go to that balcony and let's say goodbye as well as speak about pricing and now you can be living here next. And there we have it folks, 9.3 million, three bedroom, three bathroom, right here in the heart of Rosebank. A stunning, stunning penthouse suite. And if you'd like to purchase this, what I'd like you to do is open up the description of this video. You'll see the agent's contact number right there as well as if you like the interior design, you'll find her details there as well. But from myself, Chad Riveros, the team at Private Property, as well as the team at The Home Shopper Show, thank you very much for tuning in every Monday to Friday, where we go through some of the most incredible homes that you can purchase right here in sunny South Africa. Thank you very much, goodbye.